Kalei, let me uh, start with you. Uh, how did the two of you become best friends? We were neighbors. I was living with my two girlfriends at the time. We came home from work, and we found out our apartment was robbed. So we ran next door, knocked on the door, and this guy answered. And um, he just told us he didn't get robbed and that he would make sure that, <laughs> make sure that we were all safe. Um, and I thought that was really sweet, so we just all became really good friends, and I was, I just got out of a bad relationship at the time, so I just wasn't even looking for any dating, and I never thought about it with Mark. Okay, so Mark, <laughs> tell, tell me a little bit about your friendship. It's awesome. I love having her around. Uh, we spend most of our time together. Uh, we go out in movies, uh, we go to basketball games, baseball games. We even go to weddings together. Uh, yeah, we even, at times, give each other dating advice. Like, she doesn't take my advice a lot, because she does what she wants. But um, we recently started working together as well, so we spend most of our time together. Wow. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this, Kalei. Has your friendship ever crossed into the couple zone? Kinda. Um, <laughs> we were watching a movie one night, like, we always see Netflix and chill, and, um... <laughs> I kind of felt him lean over, and at the time, I just wasn't ready for that, so it was just an awkward moment altogether. <laughs> it was it was tragic, Steve. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been caught in that moment. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm sitting here. I already know. When you said it was tragic, I knew exactly what you was feeling. Yeah. But to my defense, she gave me the look. Now, I know you know the look when you get that from a woman. Well. I know you know the look. All of them missed the look. <laughs> you know, once we want something, if you just glance at us, it's the look. <laughs> Kalei, let me ask you this. How, how do you feel now, though? Well, ever since that almost awkward kiss, I've been thinking, like, we're already friends and we spend all our time together, so would it be a good idea to date? Possibly, maybe? Yeah, ever since that happened, I never wanted to revisit that, so I haven't brought it up since. She's my best friend, and I don't, I don't know if I want to cross that line and ruin our, our friendship, because we have a really strong connection. So um, that's, that's why we're here today, see? We, we need your help. Can you, can you help me, brother, out, please? Yeah, let me just say this. It's hard to be friends with someone that you're attracted to. <laughs> if he's your friend and he's a guy, but he's attracted to you, that's a hard friendship for him. Eventually, he gonna lean over. <laughs> While you net flicking and chilling. <laughs> so, the question is, should these best friends become a couple? What I wanna do is we've created a little relationship test. And we're gonna have them take it. And we'll find out what the test says, and then we'll find out what Uncle Steve says. Right after this, we'll be right back. And if your answer to the question is yes, you move one step forward out of the friend zone and one step closer to being in the couple zone. So let's get started. I'm going to give you this blindfold. <laughs> Put the blindfolds on. Okay, so listen, I want you to step, step up just a little bit. If your answer is yes, take one full step forward. If your answer is no, stay still. Okay. <laughs> Here's the first question. Do you think about the other person more than five hours a day? Are you a fan of PDA, public displays of affection? I know he's not. Okay. Would you lie to protect the other from being hurt? Uh, lying is not good. Yeah, you ain't gonna have no man. <laughs> If you had the choice to choose between Coachella or church, would you choose Coachella? I know he would. God is with me always. Yeah. Uh-huh. I ain't gonna lie to you, though, dog. I'm going to Coachella. <laughs> church every Sunday, Coachella once a year. Get yeah, one chance. One... <laughs> Oh, uh, listen to this. Do you try to find ways to physically touch the other? 
he sure as hell does. Uh-oh. This is all I need to know right here. When you're out with other people, do you wish the other person was there? Oh. <laughs> Take your blindfolds off. <laughs> now, you all said that you thought that if you got into this relationship, it would ruin your friendship. Yeah. Sir. But haven't you always heard that if you could marry your best friend, yeah. that that is the best marriage you could possibly be in? I think that you all should give it a shot with the stipulation that, hey, look, if we don't work out as a couple, let's make sure that we always remain friends. Let me ask you this other question. In five years, do you see yourself married with kids? Maybe one kid. Yes, I do. Three, three kids. Three kids? <laughs> Yeah, three in, kids. In five years? I, I just I just asked a question. He just said he won't three In five years? You don't have to be see right here. Y'all talking already. like a couple already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all might as well go on and do it. <laughs> I say give it a shot. Let us keep up with you. See how it's working. Come back on the show and let's talk about it. Okay. Hey, folks, best of luck to both of you. When we come back.